Okay, I got the boot on. So that looks pretty good. A lot better than that rubber one. So now it matches the seats and my visor. A little bit nicer than the rubber boot. And I got an unboxing over here. I have a subwoofer and my other amp It's going to run this subwoofer. So I'm going to unbox it real quick and kind of show you guys exactly what I got here. So, okay. Okay, here is the 8 inch sub. I mean, it's not very big, but this will power this just right. Um, it doesn't need a whole lot of volume. So when I figure out the volume, we'll see how, uh, how much volume it should be. It should be pretty close to um, when I fiberglass in the back end there. It should fit fairly nice in there. So now I just got to see how I'm going to fit this into the back. I'll take it out there real quick just to kind of get a give you an idea of how I'm going to set it. So there's two different ways. Uh, I can set it straight towards the back of the seat on the passenger side, or I can set it, have it sitting straight up. Um, I'm leaning towards putting it toward the uh, the back, the the front of the back seat. Um, it might give me a little more room. Like I said, I'm, I'm going to go see real quick and I'll give you an idea of how it's going to fit in there. I'll just kind of set it in there with my hand and we'll kind of get a rough idea. Let's go do it. All right. To kind of give you an idea, see, this will be able to fit down in there completely. It's kind of dark to see, but... So it can finally, it can fit all the way in. Gives me plenty of room from the back. Oh, this is horrible. Let me get a light. All right, so to kind of give you an idea, see it drops all the way down in there. No problem, can go the other way. It's a little dark. Gives me plenty of room. If you look down in here, that's a lot of volume. So I'm going to cut out these little metal uh, brackets. That was for the, the tool kit. But we can put this all the way down at the bottom there. Kind of give you an idea of what... See how much room is down in there. So I want to do it like that. So we'll figure out... Oh, speaker's heavy. So, so when I take this seat out, I'm gonna go in here, clean up all this, and make a fiberglass enclosure that I could just drop right in there, a subwoofer box. So, that way it drops right in. And I want the, uh, the speaker facing towards uh, this seat here, towards the front. So I think that's the best way to go at it. Um, I don't even have all of this. This whole thing, this whole top is loose. It came that way. I need a fix, or I need to buy the hardware to wear all these bolt down and, uh, sorry, it's a little dark. Mm -hmm. I need to get them to where it all bolts down and in there and glued. Yeah, whoever had this, they just they just bought it, never finished actually installing it, so so that'll be the, that'll be the fix after I install the subwoofer because I want to drop the subwoofer in first. But an 8 inch. I probably actually could have went a 10 inch 
I really could have um, decided to go with an 8 inch that way I don't need as much volume you know for the box to be built so that's why I went with an 8 inch um, also the reason I went with an 8 inch is it's a small car um, you know I got an 8 inch I got actually two eight inches in my in my Subaru. I got a an Alpine uh, in the back. Okay, <clears throat> I'm thinking of doing um, a stacked version. So here's my crossovers, uh, my two amps. Um, I'm gonna measure them out, see if that'll fit in there. If that does, if that fits all behind my. Uh, my dash here then I'll be golden and then I can just run all my power wire and everything to here and uh, everything will be hidden so just a rough mock-up kind of an idea of uh, what I'm gonna do I wish these weren't so big but uh, that's okay That's kind of what I'm going for. Uh, of course, I'm not this fiberglass. Um, I don't know what I want to do yet. Like I said, I need to either build some kind of bracket that goes all the way across here and holds all these in. Or something else. So, so I'm thinking like my power run up to here, split into these two. And then run the speaker wires to here, make a quick connect up to the the dash. That way it's just plug and play. I can make everything just disconnect real quick. So rough, rough mock-up kind of an idea. Like I said, I still have to take measurements, so... And I'm waiting on a few other things, um, you know, some connections and that. But this is going to be our, I think, our next step. Take the dash out, see what I got for room up in here, and do my speakers. Run straight, run wires back to the uh, the subwoofer. And that way everything will be wired up and ready to go. And when I, get, when I do the subwoofer, I can just drop it in, plug it in, and it'll be ready to go. All right. All right. So after I put that dash back in and I kind of measured everything up, it looks like it will fit, believe it or not. Uh, there's more room underneath that side than it looks. Uh, the only difference is, is I'll have to put these at the bottom and the power packs up at the top. But other than that, uh, they will fit. Uh, I'm going to have to find a board or something that's 10 by 11. Um, that way I can bolt these two, that board, and then bolt it to the back of the, uh, of the dash. But it does look like it'll fit. So what I'll do is I'll get a board, a 10 by 11. I'll get speaker wire, all the wiring and everything. Get it all ran, uh, except for the ground, uh, you know, you know the, the the main connections to the speakers and all that. So I'll make quick connections. That way, I, they're easy to take in and out. That way, if I have to do, I do have to take that dash apart. I do have a quick connect. So, yeah, but it looks like it'll fit. And uh, I just need to find something that's ten by eleven and figure out how I'm gonna mount it. All right. It's the end of this video. Uh, it's getting too dark to do anything else. <laughs> so thanks again, guys.